Good afternoon. It's Elaine with Elaine's Custom Cards. I'm a little bit late getting a card to you today, but this is the card we're going to be doing. This is mainly using the Jubilee, um, oh, let's see, it's called, well, here, let me show you it. It'll be easier just to show you. It's on page 35 of the mini catalog. It's Birthday Jubilee Bundle. And if you buy the bundle, you save 10%, which is a really good deal. Um, I like saving 10%. So anyway, let's get started with this card. It's pretty simple. The only fussy part, of course, is coloring our little flowers before we die cut them and then I did some coloring on the ins the inside as well a little bit so this is a lovely lipstick eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter for our card base and then I die cut two of these out of the Jubilee Beauty Dyes, so it's this one, and for for this on the card front, or the base, I die cut using this die cut right here, I just die cut here and here, and it just, I thought it looked really neat, because on here, what I did was I made the inside piece panel large enough so that when you close the card, just the white shows through on there so and that inside panel is five and three eighths by four and one eighth so there's just a really small border around it but let's do this first and the way I did this took some really small pieces of tape because I want these two pieces to be together so I put a small piece of tape get it the right direction here put one piece here and you want to make sure it's not going over any of your holes which looks like it is right there so you just cut it small enough so that you don't need very much and you just want it to stay together And then I took another piece. If I can get it off of here. And put it on this end. Just like so. It's like I said, you don't need very much. You just want it to stay together so that when you glue it to the front, which is what we're going to do next, it stays together. So we only need a little bit of glue right along here. We don't want very much. A little bit here along that area and then a little bit right here. Like I said, you just need a thin line because you don't want it to ooze into your, the holes. And you take this and you center it side to side and top to bottom and just make sure you don't cover over your um, die cut area. Just do this. Yeah, I'll center it as best you can. Just like so. Okay. Then I took these images and they are from the birthday jubilee and I stamped this twice on whisper white cardstock and the size I used was three and three fourths by three you sh you'll be able to get both of them and then I colored them with S stampin right markers and I used pear pizzazz Daffodil Delight, um, Lovely Lipstick, and Blushing Bride. Now, 
I'm almost positive that you have to buy these in sets and so when I made the list I didn't put numbers but this is the um, 2018 2019 in colors that are or 2020 in colors that are going out this year so if you want those colors you need to get them before they're gone and then the this one also no this is daffodil delight um, but you have to buy these in a set with the colors I'm not sure that you can buy them individually I didn't see them in the catalog so um, I bought them before they had them grouped together like that so anyway I colored these and what I did was I colored um, this part the pink is the uh, blushing bride on all of them and then it's the uh, lovely lipstick for the flower petals and then the pear pizzazz for the leaves and then the centers of these five flowers is um, daffodil delight and I stamped it with um, soft suede ink because I didn't want it to be black and then all I did was glue these one on the top and one on the bottom to the front of the card I would have colored them on camera but it would take too long because I'm really slow at coloring because I'm a perfectionist and I don't like going outside the line so so what I did was I put it up high enough here so that it just barely touches this um, dividing line right here and I did that to both of them Goodness, I'm gonna have to get some new glue I think oh, I just happen to have one sitting there waiting for me so let's see if we can do this without making a mess here okay so this one same thing we're going to center it just like this Oops, okay. Sometimes things just don't work like they're supposed to. If I can see if I can get that in the center. Okay. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna take the thank you that I've already stamped. This is Pear Pizzazz cardstock and I stamped it with um, soft suede ink I used the ornate thanks stamp set and used that large thank you and then I die cut it with the um, this is the ornate layers dies and I used this one right here this the stitched and that's what I how I did this and then I used um, stampin dimensionals on the back And I just centered that across here. It covers up what you don't want to see. <laughs> you just need to make it level. And then I took the pineapple punch uh, gross grain ribbon and tied a bow. And this is in the annual catalog. I used this color because I felt like the front of the card needed some bright color. So I tied a bow and then I put a glue dot on the back and then I just put it right here in the center. Like so. Okay. And then the inside of my card, this piece of Whisper White is five and three eighths by four and one eighth. 
I stamped the flower that's on this stamp set right here. I stamped that flower. And then my sentiment came from Enjoy Life. How beautiful a day can be when kindness touches it. And then I used this little butterfly right here. So we're going to glue this to the inside. I don't normally make my inside panels this big, but I wanted that white, the white to show through my die cutting right there. So we're just going to put this on the inside and center it right here. So that when you close the card, you see the white area. Just like so. You see? And then the last final touch for this card are the rhinestones. So I used the medium size rhinestone for the centers of the large flower. I colored the centers daffodil delight, but you don't really have to color them except for these small ones right here because those are actually the only ones that you're going to see the yellow. So you can just not color these. You can color your rhinestones yellow if you want with Stampin' Blends. But I thought they looked okay. So I used the small rhinestones for the smaller flowers. Just like so. There you go. Doesn't quite get centered, but I'm sure it's fine. Okay, and that's your card for today. I hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, um, and the little click the little down arrow, and that'll take you to my. There will be a link to my blog that you will find all the colors, sizes everything that I used on this card. You have a blessed day and have fun stamping!